Hi, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a sky dome or really a sky sphere. And this involves flipping the normals on the surface of a sphere. Now you can also flip the normals on any particular geometry, geometry using this method. So uh, first of all, uh, I've got here a plane and I've put the first person controller on it as you can see there. So this is just the default skybox that comes with the 3D scene. And once again, I got the default character controller from assets, import package, characters. And then I dragged in the prefab of the first person controller that comes in the first person character folder. Now all I've done is create a plane for the uh, player to stand on. All right, so now we're going to add our sphere and I'll just use a default Unity sphere for that. So in the hierarchy, 3D object sphere. So um, you can see here in the scene, there's our sphere object. Now it's much too small at this point to represent the sky. So you want to make it very large so that it covers the whole world. So that when we run it, we'll be able to see the sky. Now at the moment, if we run it and we um, have a look around, we can see that our player is sort of on top of that sphere. So one thing we need to do to force the player to stay below and inside that sphere is to actually turn off the sphere collider that you get on that ball. Right, so now let's run it, which will leave our player on the ground and we're now looking out through that sphere from inside. Now the reason we can't see anything is because that polygons usually only have one side that has a texture rendered on it and this is pretty much for optimization purposes is that we only really ever see one side of a polygon. It's not possible to see both sides at once. Um, so why put a texture on both sides? Now in this case of this sphere, we can see that's the outside that has the white texture on it. Now if we look closely at the surface, you'll see that it's made up of a whole bunch of triangles and this is what makes each polygon that's in a mesh. What we need to do to turn this inside out is actually take what's called the normal and flip it around so it's facing inwards. So I've got a little diagram here just to uh, explain what normals are, if I bring that up. Okay, so if we look at this triangle here, this is one of the triangles in a mesh. Now, um, when the triangles are stored internally, they're stored as the vertices, the positions of the vertices. So each one of the points of this triangle is stored as a 3 D um, vertex with an X, Y and a Z value, which represents where it is in 3D space. Um, now the normal itself is a vector that sits at 90 degrees to a plane or a polygon. Um, and it tells the game engine which side it needs its texture rendered on. Now when you order the vertices stored internally in clockwise order, so around this way, inside um, the matrix that stores these values, then the surface that's facing you is the one that has the texture on it. It's also the one that has the normal poking out of it. When you look at, if you were to flip this around and look at it from the other side, then the uh, vertices become ordered in the reverse order that you can see here. So counterclockwise, when they're stored counterclockwise, the normal is on the other side and therefore you're actually looking straight through the plane if you're on the opposite side to where the normal is. So when we talk about uh, inverting the normal or flipping the normal, we wanna take it from this where it's facing outwards and flip it around um, by 180 degrees and make it face the other way so it's like this and then all the textures will be on the inside face. Okay so to do that back here first of all we need to put a nice texture on here. Now if you uh, go into Google and do a bit of a search for spherical 
images uh, you'll find a whole bunch that people have taken now this is just a nice JPEG that I found spherical image and I've just dragged and dropped that onto this sphere um, and you can see it there very nicely so our goal now is to be able to see this texture that's wrapping around this on the inside to do that we need to write a little bit of code so create yourselves a c-sharp file called flip normals which I've already written and I'll just open up and show you what we've done so the process is to turn the normals around the other way flip them 180 degrees which we're doing down here so the first thing is to grab the mesh that's on the object and then we grab hold of all of the normals that are on that object in this case it's all the normals that are covering that entire sphere and then we're going to loop through those normals one by one and we're going to invert them and to do that all you do is multiply the normal by minus one and that will flip it around the other way and give you an exact 180 degree normal uh, to the original Right, we then take our normals that we've just changed all the values of and plug them back into the normals array of the mesh. Now this alone will not uh, fix the problem. Um, it won't invert the normals. Well, it, it'll invert the normals, but you won't see what you want to see because the triangles in the mesh are still in clockwise order. So we have to loop through the mesh again and grab all all of the triangles which we do with this line here and then we loop through each vertex of those triangles and we swap them and we're basically swapping the first one with the last one and that changes the order of them because the middle one's going to stay always in the middle so we get the first one we put it at the end and we get the previous end one and we put it at the beginning and that swaps the triangles around and then we put those triangles back into the mesh so this set triangles function puts the triangles that we've just swapped the order back into the mesh so we've done two operations we've flipped the normals and we've also turned all the triangles around okay so we'll save that and go back to our unity take the flip normals and put that onto the sphere object and just click on it to check that that script has been attached and you can see that the spherical image is there now when we press play we will be on our ground plane but we now have that sphere all around us and you can see that image has been turned inside out you can also see it on the scene view where you're actually looking through that front surface because everything is backwards over here all of these uh, faces that were facing towards us are now facing the other way so we're actually looking through the sphere onto the other inside of the other side okay so that's pretty much it that's how to create a uh, sky dome sky sphere shape by flipping around an existing unity sphere and again you can do this with any particular mesh you could do with a cube if you wanted to turn that inside out as well now if you want this to be an actual sky uh, sphere to follow you around what you would do is just write some code that sticks the spheres position to the actual characters position um, with each update so it will just um, always stay around you that you can't actually walk outside of it right so that's the end of the tutorial um, and I hope that was useful for you um, not just for doing a sky sphere but for possibly other purposes that require you to flip uh, or invert the normals <laughs>